Nation number 17, baby, let's go. All right, y'all, this is the drop off. We're gonna be dropping off the soda machine at the location. If you haven't already checked out the video on where I picked up the soda machine, check it out right here. It was a two hour and 30 minute drive to pick up the two soda machines I picked up and we already dropping it off. And right here, y'all getting the insight on something y'all wasn't supposed to be seeing. So y'all stay tuned for another location, y'all. We ain't stopping, man. On this channel, you're going to get the good, bad, then the happy, and the sad, man. You know? You're going to get all angles of ending. Y'all going to see my journey from the bottom to the top. Y'all follow the journey, man. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on that notification bell. Y'all know the drill. Vending family. Oh, and yeah, I forgot to make an intro, so this is why y'all getting all this right here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> machine is set up for bottles 20 ounce bottles so check out the, sh the uh, gauges for that it's black so you got to take those off and put the white gauges on which is right here which is what I'm doing and this is for cans so let me show you all the process of that ah pop that pin right there Pop it right there. All right, so the black gauge is off. So I'm popping that one on, the white one on there. And popping that one on right there. And this soda machine is a Vendo 540, by the way. So bam. Vendo 540 says it right there so i'm gonna come under here and i'm gonna put it in the second in the second one right here bam put that back in bam and then check this out so it's showing two but I'm gonna put it on three because it's gonna be three deep. It's gonna be three cans going in. All right, so I turned it to three. As you can see right there, I popped it in three. That's for three deep. All right, put your drinks in and you set. Simple as that. Um, we're cutting out our labels. This is Okay, there goes the other labels. And currently we have bottle labels in here. So we gonna go ahead and uh, swap those out. I don't know if you guys seen this before, but I got a clicker for the soda machine. It's just like a car to unlock it. So check this out, y'all. Tell them to step their game up, man. Hi, Mrs. Honey. Hey, throw some change up on that thing. Actually, I get it. Let's get it from the side. Perfect. I'm in his way. All right, so Miss Hunter is leaving. She got other plans. I'm gonna go pick up Uncle Steve. It's just a blessing to have a wife that's willing to help a brother. You know, you know. Well, y'all stay tuned, man. We headed to the location, man. Let's get it, y'all.
pulling up. This place out, y'all. We got a dealership and we got McCain shops linked on up in it. When this virus is done, man, we about to take over this spot, man. Come on, we over here, man. Show them the spot. Y'all check this out. I placed the vending machine and the guy comes up to me and asks, how much does he get? And I tell him, when I talk to you, you didn't bring that up. You know what I mean? I told him if we would have discussed that before anything, then we could have uh, talked about something. But now I've already placed the vending machine and I'm offering my services. You know, I'm not looking to do commission. And then he goes and tells me that he has pizza shops, pizza stores, and this, this, and that, and everybody pays commission. And I go, well, we didn't talk about that. So he was like, I'm gonna talk to my brother and get back to you. So then he comes and asks me, can I get something for free? At least then. So he's just looking for what he can get. So comment down below and let me know what you guys would do. Would you sell him the vending machine and make a profit? Would you just pull the vending machine? Would you just stick it out and see how it does? Man, y'all let me know. Cause this dude right here, man. <laughs> you know, I told him, man, do you know how much work that I put in to get this vending machine here? Do you know how much cleaning that I did? I told him like straight up, like, I would like to know like where your head is at with me placing this here. And he goes, oh, I'm, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you know. I said, I don't, I, I would hope that you don't put me out after all this work that I, I, I've done. You know what I mean? So I'm just being sincere and talking to him like a man, letting him know, you know what I mean? So I just put it in God's hands. If it's meant for me to be here, it'll be here. And, you know, I'm gonna just keep pushing. I got a lot of locations to play soda machines. So me, for me, it's just the fact that I worked extremely hard to get it here all day hours. So that's the only thing that really bothers me. But other than that, man, I'm on my way home. I got a location to take care of today that's uh, the dollar bill acceptor went out. But other than that, Uncle Steve, you want to say bye to the peoples, man? See you later. Like, subscribe, share. Hey, press that notification bell, too. And this vending, man. We out, y'all. Y'all have a blessed one.